decided to bring one person back from the throes of elimination. Welcome back, Jacqueline. Now you're down to only one. Really love your picture. We really like your personality. Ooh. Okay. So that I can know you from a real person. But I think I don't get that uh, when we were interacting. I feel like in this competition, we kind of want to see who stands out. Ten of Malaysia's best known online personalities each with different spheres of influence, ranging from fashion and beauty to food, travel and technology, they have come together from all walks of life to fight it out and to see which amongst them has the ability to assert their influence in areas beyond their own expertise. Fields, dominated by other contestants. they've got to do is be the last contestant standing. This is The Influencer. Welcome back to The Influencer. I'm glad to see all of you here today. You're ready? So do you research? All of you are ready for a food challenge. Yes, you're right. It is a food challenge. All six of you will be broken up into teams of two once again. So there'll be three teams. The team leader will have to pick eight ingredients of their choice to prepare a dish that best represents who they are. Team leader for team A is Vernon Chan and your team member is Rebecca Song. <laughs> team leader for Team B is Kelly Chin and your team member is Chris Uy. <laughs> team leader for Team C is Abob. Your team member of course is Jacqueline Gunn. Yay! <laughs> So the criteria for this challenge, of course, is to assert the most influence in your own teams and to produce the best dish in the time allocated. You can first discuss with your team member on what you would like to prepare for the challenge. I let him be like that. Then we put the center, we cut the two other things together. Actually, if you want it, you think you need a cable? Cable, you give it that four. So, two, three. I think one is enough. One, two. One home button, my friend. If not, if you take five, you take four or five. Five. Roast chicken. All right. Green salad. Okay. We're gonna have a bit of pasta. Pasta. Mm. And beetroot. Beetroot. Chili padi. Chili padi. Pineapple. Pineapple, okay. Yep. We're gonna have olive oil. We're gonna have spaghetti. Okay. Chicken meatballs. Chicken meatballs. Green salad. Mm. Not forgetting the pasta sauce. Okay. Yeah. Chris would like to have capsicum okay. because the red color represents him. I would like to have pineapple. Because it represents me, sunshine, and chili okay. party. And chili party. And this represents you because it's red. But very hot. You're oh, wow. Hot. Okay. <laughs> me, I'll get sliced bread, okay. butter, All right. turkey ham, roast chicken, 
green salad, capsicum, butterhead lettuce, and balsamic vinegar. I believe all of you are eager to start judging by your faces. Well, before we begin, I would like to introduce our judges for this episode. We have Joe, the founder of Cupcakes by Joe's Creations. We have Jason of Ante Kitchen and Bar. And we have Steve, who is the product manager of Nokia Malaysia. So before we begin, once again, I would like to share with all of you the main criteria is to assert your influence on the challenge to work together as a team to create the best result. We have three judges in front of you who will be tasting your food. So don't kill them. The time will start right now. Good luck. So the center part only with spread noodle. Yeah. So we have to see the how how you actually mix up the taste like. Okay. Because now it, it's kind of like simple, but it's simple. Yeah, yeah I think it's on top. I don't want to put any more yeah. because it's crowding the plate. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah. <laughs> We're marinating the mushroom with balsamic vinegar. It smells very strong, so yeah. I don't know how is it going to turn like. So, so, even the camera person is closing his mouth. Serious It's very strong. I thought you can't get it. So, for the one mushroom, one mushroom, you just put it on top, right? Is it edible though? Edible, right? Is it meant to be eaten? Yeah. The, yeah, the salad is fine. The salad, the, the things on top can be eaten. Yes. So it's a salad? Yeah. <laughs> oh, only the custom nut nut. Why do you think you and my daughter are good together? Um... <laughs> With a 6-inch 1080p Full HD display and 20 megapixel camera, tell your story better with Storyteller on the Nokia Lumia 1520. And all of your dishes look very, very good. Can you please tell us a little bit more about both of your dishes? This we call the journey. So because it starts with a journey, uh, a salad, which has your greens, a bit of the beetroot and also the pineapple, seasoned with a little bit of salt and pepper, which leads on to the main dish, which is the roast chicken. Underneath, there's a slice of uh, pineapple to add a little bit of sweetness to it. And at the bottom would be the pasta to give it a bit of, of carbs and fullness. Yeah. Okay, our dish is uh, Kali and Chris Volcano pasta. <laughs> so if that signifies we are very hot and we are, we are almost going to burst. Um, the volcano is like, I arranged the meatballs in such a way, it's like a volcano. And the pasta sauce, I add uh, pineapple, a bit of salt and pepper and also uh, chili padi. Because we like red and colourful thing and our concept is volcano so I will make it so I made it like same kind of concept with what her did it's like volcano thing it's the volcano garden it's like volcano salad. Our name of the dish is Morning Glory because uh, one of the reasons why glory. everyone wake up in a day that hope to have the rest of the day is very simple, straightforward without stress or anything. Uh, important meal of the day is a breakfast so in there we have uh, turkey ham we have uh, sandwiches with greens give you a healthy breakfast then at the bottom in the roast chicken so it give you the feel, uh, feelness of it after that. So sometimes every one of us are so busy that are so got no time to eat. So this will last you until your dinner. 
Alright, I think about the presentation, it starts from a small little surveying throughout up to the, the main course. I think it's, it's pretty clever of them. The colour, I think it's, it's vibrant, it's, it's really good. Considering what they had to work with, I would say this, you could serve it at a restaurant. Presentation-wise, pretty standard and safe choice. But this might also the killer of them if, you know, the other two groups have a better presentation. It's season, which is good. <laughs> All three of you. Salad is fine. Okay. Considering what they have, but at least they put salt and pepper on it. <laughs> which a lot of places uh, forget. The salad is alright considering they seasoned the salad. Uh, they put in pineapples and beetroot. Which, yeah, I think the, which, the uh, appetizers are really good. But the main, the pasta literally has no taste in it. <laughs> Uh, except for a bit of heat from the chilies. Yeah, I, I do agree that the pasta is actually uh, no taste at all other than the <laughs> hot chilli. So the both I mean, of them are too confident on what they're doing. You know, uh, I observe that even after they've done their dish, they never give it a try. Which uh, the other two team does. I'm not sure what it's trying to be achieved here because that is not a salad. <laughs> it's more of a decorative item. I'm not sure what to do with it. When you do a dish, almost everything on the dish has to be edible. It looks pretty, but it's not functional. Yeah, not. the fact that I don't, they, I don't think they put any virgin olive oil whatsoever. I think it's going to be quite, quite tasteless. So, so you have any more? Oops. <laughs> I like the taste of the sauce. I think okay. it's a good effort. At least uh, she spent some time to mix mix up some sauce instead of using those uh, pre-ready. Uh, I think the meatball really helped to spice up the dish. I agree. I think the sauce is um, it's really flavorful. It, it, it is spicy, it's sour, um, it's, it's seasoned well. To be honest, not a lot of effort or creativity, but the chilies and pineapple does help and overall, at least, the dish works. Mm -hmm. I think they've just wasted all these vegetables. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Which, if, if, if you do own a restaurant or a cafe, I think that it's just, it's just a waste of money. It's, it's the least interesting compared to the others. I think I the, the bread really makes a difference if they choose different bread on this setup. But I do agree with Joe that, you know, some of the decorative stuff can be taken off. The interesting thing is, one of their ingredient choices was the balsamic vinegar, okay. which they used to marinate the mushrooms. They actually displayed um, a little bit of creativity when it comes to cooking and culinary arts. What do you think? Actually, as a sandwich, it works. I think what, what, what I saw in this team is that I think they lack hygiene, so this might actually pose a very, very huge risk. I actually think, considering what all the teams had to work with, this team made the most effort in uh, giving their dish a uh, taste from basic ingredients rather than picking out like a pre-made sauce. The next challenge will be making a cocktail that can suit your dish. To choose the right cocktail, you would be using your Nokia Lumia 1520. So contestants, how this is going to work is that you have five minutes to search for your cocktail recipe and then prepare your cocktails. Yep, so you can find a lot of apps, cocktail uh, recipe apps in the App Store, you know, by checking out the app marketplace in the phone. But what you can do also, you can utilize the voice command to do it quick, you know, on the internet search. By using this, you just need to press the home button. Search cocktail recipes. Searching for cocktail recipes. So over here, the phone itself will go into the internet and search for the, the cocktail recipes based on the, your command. And you can do this with other tasks as well. If you want to call somebody, text somebody, you can utilize the voice command. Good luck, guys. Hi, Andrew. I'm Rebecca. Hi. Hi. And my teammates over there, Vernon, will be telling me the recipe, okay? Vernon. Rebecca, are you ready? Yep, tell okay. me what to do. Three ingredients. Three ready ingredients. Go. Number one, fine whiskey, a short whiskey. Okay, that's all we need. Macallan. Macallan is awesome. good. Macallan is good. Something fizzy, uh, you have soda water. Okay. <laughs> Next we need is uh, a juice, something fizzy. Interesting. What, what, do you, what, what do we have? Cranberry. Cranberry. 
cranberry. Cranberry for five. Cranberry? Alright. Okay, so a shot of both. Uh, all three? One shot each. Okay, cool. Okay. Yeah. Two or three bits. Don't drink. One. Yeah, just one shot. Yeah. Use that as a measurement. Use that as a measurement. One. Okay. And yeah. cranberry? Yeah. Cranberry juice? One. And the juice, yeah. Okay, I'm shaking. Alright. Yeah. Oh, like that. Yes, okay, do your stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Yes, are you doing this for real? Yeah, this is real. Hey. Okay, Master Andrew. Oh. Am I doing it right? Bye. got a shot of macallan in it, uh, some cranberry juice and some fizz. So you feel a bit um, light as well. It's not bad. It's light, like you said. Hey, our cocktail today is firework. There's champagne, gin and tangerine schnapps. We don't have champagne and okay. tangerine schnapps. No worries, I can improvise that. Great. Right? For champagne, soda, gin, and the schnapps. Um, we're going to change to vodka. Um, very good. Very good. One shot of gin. And then? Okay, one shot of vodka. Of ice. Okay. Inside, inside. Inside, just drop inside. it. Yes, just drop it in. Done. Which dish do you think is the best? Which dish? Well, I think in terms of flavor, I think it's Chris and uh, what's him? Uh, Kelly. Kelly, yeah, Kelly. They managed to pull out um, all their tricks, and it, it turned out really good. Flavor-wise, I think uh, Team B has 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 the upper hand here because I think their sauce is really good compared to the others. 
I remember the foot of Team B, but I don't remember Team B. Yeah, I think Team C is a little bit quiet, but they're uh, solid. I have a comment to to the to all three teams. Is I don't I I didn't see this you know throughout the competition is. I didn't see them questioning each other. The first one that I'm gonna to eliminate is because I, I mean, no doubt that she's good in what she's doing, but she's the least uh, communicate person that I saw among six of them. She no. never go and you know uh, understand what the the other two teams are doing, which I don't think this is healthy in a competition perspective. Uh, for myself, is I think it would be he's not bothering with what other people are doing and he's like in his own world. Teams. Are you ready for the judging round? Well, to be honest, this round, the judges found it really difficult to find out who the winner was. For this time around, we only have one winner. Team B and Team C, please step forward. Team A, thank you. You're safe from elimination. You may be seated. Kelly, you may be seated. Thank you so much. I think like what Macy mentioned is really a tough decision amongst three of us. You know, even the crew have to remove all the spoon and fork because we <laughs> almost get on a fight. Uh, Jacqueline, you really do a good job. You know, we like the sandwich, we li like the marinated mushrooms. But uh, unfortunately, on the communication part, you seem like uh, slightly weaker. The only thing that we judge based on, you know, uh, to select, you know, which is the winner. I mean, who is the winner and uh, who is the loser is on the uh, interaction and communication as well. Chris, I'm sorry, uh, we don't see this uh, you know, uh, as much as compared with what we see on Bob, so you are eliminated as well. Yep, thank you Chris. Congrats, uh, Bob. You were clearly the outstanding one among the six. I don't know, maybe that particular judge or whoever didn't really observe well. No problem, I did my best. I'm good now, I guess, just not this thing. Coming up on The Influencer.